What's up Metalheads? My name is Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel and today I have a little unboxing for you guys. Actually it's not a little unboxing. It's a pretty big unboxing. Uh, I got a bunch of knives sent in by my buddy Craig to check out and I do not know what all is in here. So this is going to be as much of a surprise to you as it is to me. Although I do know what one of these is. Uh, Craig has donated to the 1000 subscriber giveaway and something in here for you guys you will see that later though because uh gotta do something to it before the giveaway which will be in the next few weeks so yes one of you guys will be winning something from Cavist blade works so i'm not going to open that here i'm just going to stick that to the side for now and uh i am going to open the rest of these and just do a first impression initial uh, look at them and uh there will be overviews coming of these Let's slide some of these out of the way here. First up, we have a, a Max Ace. I'm not sure which Max Ace this is. Ooh, looks nice already. Wow. Wow. Very nice. I already like that. I'll tell you that now. Snappy detent. Very snappy detent. Yeah, so this is the Max Ace. Let me see if it says on the box here what, what that is. You will be seeing more of that in the future, though. This is the Max Ace uh, Black Mirror. Okay, this is a premium knife from them, M390. So that one will be on the way. Another overview video. All right, what's next? Ooh, I know what that is. I'm reading these. Oh, this is one I've always wanted to check out. I've always I've seen these, I like them, and I've always wanted to check one out, but the price has always kind of steered me in another direction because of what it is, but who knows, maybe this will change my mind. This is the Spyderco Spy Opera, another backlot from Spyderco. I actually like the look of this knife. It's kind of funky looking, the way it gets so wide with the spidey hole. Ooh, definitely flickable. M390 blade steel in these. I believe, if I remember correctly, these are made in Italy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. They are made in Italy by Lion Steel. Can you reverse flick it? I don't know if I can. I can't do it with my left hand still, but yeah, with a little wrist action, I can. But I didn't even need wrist action for the thumb flick. Nice. Very nice. It looks really good like this, in my opinion. Kind of a funky look to it like that kind of looks a little wide there looks like it could be get caught in the pocket but i'll check that out and let you guys know so that is the spy opera by spiderco what do we have here that one i'm saving for near last two okay this is one i haven't i may have seen it online just don't recognize the name this is the uh ritter doug ritter ho the hog uh MK1. Ooh, that's a bigger one. Ooh, I love this uh, G10 here. The way they've done that sunburst pattern. Oh man, that's so grippy. That feels really good. I also really like these thumb studs. Super. Get a lot of grip on those. Very grippy. Reverse flick and thumb flicker. Fan fantastic. This is a bigger one. Mm, I like that a lot. A whole lot, actually. Love the G10. I wish more companies would do stuff like this on G10. That looks amazing and it feels amazing. All right, that is the Ritter Hogue MK1. Okay, next up we have. Okay, this is another one. I don't think I've ever even seen this one. I think I have seen that MK1 before. Um, all right, this is. Hmm, already a very interesting look from Benchmade. This is the Benchmade Nakamura. Hmm, M390, huh? Look at that little hook right there for the stop pin. Huh. You talk about ergonomic, man. You got a spot for every finger. And it actually works for a medium-sized hand perfectly. Perfectly. I like this too. I like this a lot. 
The bitch made Nakamura. All right. Is that made? Where's that made at? Is it made in Japan? It doesn't say. I have to look it up, see if this is made in the USA or if they did like Spider Coat Spy Opera and maybe had this made in Japan. I do not know. But I will find out for the overview video. Alright, this one I have seen for sure, but I've never held it. This is the Kaiser PP4. Stop getting stuck. Alright. Ooh. Stiff detent. Ooh. Guillotine action. But that detent is stiff. I don't even know if I can reverse flick it. Complete drop shut. Complete guillotine action. Really stiff detent. Uh, the, this reminds me a lot of the uh, mini bag lighter I have here from Craig. The premium one. That detent does anyway. Super stiff. But, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if I can, yeah, I don't know if, yeah, I'm going to have to work on the reverse flick on that one. Oh, not PP4, PPY. Kaiser PPY. Craig's uh, Y look like a 4 on the bag. PPY. Okay. Okay, I know what this one is for sure. Another one I've never had in hand, but I think I'm going to really like this one for sure. Ooh. That's the one. If I get one, that's the one I'm getting right there. That color combination and, yeah, the whole. It's made Griptilian. This is the best looking one out there, in my opinion. With that sheep's foot blade with the hole, that blue and gray actually look really good together. And if you want to replace these scales, hmm, I don't know if I would replace them. I guess you could do a custom build, but... Man, it looks so good as it is. Springs are a bit stiffer on this than I'm used to from Benchmade for sure. Mm, I like that. At all the grip tillions I've seen, this is the best looking one. This one's in 20 CV also. Wow. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, these are the two that I'm most excited about here. We'll start with this one. All right. The F5.5, the acid wash blade with the denim micarta. Man, that's a good looking knife. That's a good looker right there. Never had an F5.5. Been a couple I've wanted. This is the one I think looks the best, actually, of all of them I've seen. Although the one that has from Urban EDC Supply, which I think is where this one came from also, the one with Urban EDC Supply with titanium and that uh, Sigahai, or however you pronounce it, milling, looks really good also. But the weight on this one, man, this isn't very heavy at all. Ooh, that action is fantastic. Yeah, this is a winner already. I can already tell you that. The action is fantastic. Ergos are really good too. You got a finger choil. Oh yeah, right up my alley here for sure. Mm. This one's good. Obviously this is a first impression, but my first impression is really good right now on this one. The hole placement is perfect for the reverse flick or the thumb flick. Yeah. The blade shape, the look of this one, that 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 micarta with that finish on the blade just looks so good to me. So good. All right. And last but not least, definitely not least. Oops. Is... The Cuff 3.0 by Ling Ma. Wow, that is smaller than I thought. <laughs> I thought this knife was bigger. I know he has the 2.0, which is the bigger, bigger one. This one is, uh, I don't know what I had pictured in my head, but I had a 
I just thought it was bigger. It's actually really good for my hand size. I really like the ergos feel really good right off the bat. I'm curious about how that little ceramic ball pocket clip is going to work. I'm not a big fan of those generally, but maybe this one will surprise me. Love the way the G10 comes right into the titanium. Seamless, man. Seamless. Wow. Wow. I don't own any of his knives yet. He has a budget design he's about to drop. or may have dropped already with... I uh, can't remember who the OEM is, but I was going to check that one out for sure. This is one I've looked at. Oh, I don't know if I can thumb flick it. Yeah, it's a little tight to get your thumb in there, but you can do it. Once I get a better feel for it, I'm sure it'll be a lot easier. Elmac Still. Man, that's a good looker too, man. Both of these. Ooh. Those are two really good looking knives right there. Let's lay them all out here. Show you what all was delivered. And I've already got a versus video of mine for one of these. Um, also, that's a good looker too, man. Yeah, all three of these. Uh, this is a really good looker too. And that's that G10 is just still. I can't understand why more companies aren't doing something like this because that is so grippy, in a good way though. Not like it hurts you, grippy, but super grippy. Uh, the PPY. I wonder what PPY stands for. I'll figure that out before the uh, overview video, but I'm sure PPY stands for something. And I doubt it has anything to do with PPUs, but could. This could surprise me. And this one here, I'm curious if this is made in the USA. Because this has, man, this has really good action as I miss it. The ergos on this one are, I mean, it's almost like a pistol grip, kind of. Feels really good in hand. And the Spy Opera. I've almost bought this knife a few times, but always backed out because it's made in Italy, and I've heard a lot of bad things about things made in Italy. Um, we'll see. I'm, I am pleasantly surprised how easy it is to uh, flick that out, though. And this one's not going to come back and get you. Like, if I hit that lock, that blade's going to drop to a certain point, and it's not going to get me. And then I can close it easily one-handed, so... Oops. All right. All right, guys, here's some more knives you're going to be seeing in the future. And uh, thank you very much to Craig. I greatly appreciate it. You know, guys, without Craig, there's no way my channel would have made it to a 1,000 views already because I would have never been able to have all these knives on my channel and make all this content. Guys like Craig and Q-Ball and all you guys out there that send knives in, whether it's for the sales or just for me to check out, thank you all so much. I really do appreciate it because uh, I probably wouldn't have 50 videos done right now. 50 to 100 if I was just doing knives I was purchasing myself obviously can't buy all the knives although we'd like to buy most of them um, and uh, this is just awesome that I get the chance to check these out and play with them and uh, see if I like them before I buy them especially when you start getting into these kinds of price ranges or even this this is like a couple almost a couple hundred bucks and this griptilian too and this I don't know what the price is on this but I really like this really like that one all right, I got to wrap this up. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and I will see you guys on the next one.